Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Age of Wonders 3 together as Aeneas, the Seeker of Wisdom. Welcome to another episode. Um, if you hear snoring in the background, that is uh, one of my cats. I apologize for her, but she's just so happy I couldn't really kick her out of the room. So um, I'll try to listen in from time to time and if it is too bad, I'll go over here and give her uh, a pet so she uh, stops snoring. <laughs> Okay, let's end the turn here. Okay, race governance leveled up. Our goblin race governance leveled up before our... Before our elf, high elf governance, I guess. That's not good. So what should we do? Goblin outpost and village is going to an additional plus five for every wetland hex. You're going to do that. Why not? We'll produce the stone wall over here. Now what we really want is, we want a head item. I mean, Fearsome is good, right? Fearsome is really good. Where is Seeker? Is Seeker on? No, Seeker is not on any of the breast things. Not on any of the breast plates. So we need tireless. Hmm. It's not on the weapon. I could put it on a shield. I don't really want that. Oh well, okay. So we're gonna go with the headpiece. We, um, I want the seeker to negate... Um, to negate the range penalty for Aeneas. So it's gonna be... Crown of Aeneas. It's gonna cost a lot of mana. Oh well. Why not? Just gonna take another turn until we can produce it. I think, yeah. Next turn. That's gonna happen. These guys wanna join me. Can't really do that. In the next turn, we'll have our Eldritch Horror. We need more sorcery to be able to reliably get that. But I would also like um, better mounts for my people. Having a flying mount would make all the difference because you're so um, you're so mobile. But yeah, we're gonna go for more sorcery here. Yeah. More sorcery is always good. You require orders. Hmm. We haven't, we haven't looked at all of this place. Oh crap, we're gonna get attacked by these guys. Not good. Oh well, we'll have to deal with it. Uh, we need to bring this army down. Come on, enter. Um, I guess I could have moved the node serpent over this thing. Easily. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Rialto the Shocking back. I just have a really bad feeling with him uh, having only a small army. What about what about you guys? In one turn they can become our vassal. I really want that. And we could use that mana as well that's lying around there. We need that. Um, army movement. I do want to bring you over to land. So let's do this. And then you're gonna come down here. The defense of our of our home city is pretty bad. I gotta gotta admit. So we're gonna come up here. Regenerate our our things. And then I'm going to use my floating people to move north. Because we need to take care of those dragons. Like that. And they can all do that because some of them are floating. Or well, all of them are floating and Aeneas is swimming. And you, my friend, you're going to go back to our throne city. I would like, I would have liked to level him up to 
elite, so it get, gets fire aura, but I think that's gonna be a pipe dream. Let's end the turn here. Yeah, so we finally can summon the Elitora. Oh, I could try to move that guy away. To move him, move him up here. Oh crap! Oh well, then I'm gonna die because of my stupidity. Oh, we're gonna get you. I was so close. I was so close of bringing him away. It was just too greedy in one of those haste berries. So the other horror. Gonna. Gonna put you down over here. Oh, we completed another quest. Paragon. The first to build a summoner tier 4 unit. So what did you get? Um Resurgence. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, one defense, one resistance. Very good. You're gonna be a beast. They have a lot of hit points. Get more hit points. They're fearsome. These are really crazy units. And I, I do love them very much, as you can probably tell from my channel. I can I do like things with uh, lots of tentacles. <laughs> so I have to I have to bring you up to confront these dragons, so I think we're gonna bring you up in a relatively straight line. Do it like this. The good thing is, this guy is also floating, so he doesn't really have a problem. What are you? A rogue? No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take a rogue. Fag off. There's just no way we two are coming together. Bring you down. I'm gonna move this army up here. Oh, yeah, the goblin has been drilling through these, through these walls, that's good. Well. It's kind of a waste to have you down there, but I'm gonna camp you for now. Alliance proposal, yeah, be my vassal, why not? That's good, so you grew into a village. Could let them join my empire, but I don't have an ability to, to protect them. And I don't have any mana now, that's also bad. You can join, I don't want you to join. Oh yeah, alliance proposal. Holy cow, you're thinking very highly of yourself. 543. What are you? Yeah, okay. Well, become my vessel. It's, it's better that way. I don't want you to be part of... Um, to be part of Slinterskoy's land. So, I guess you, I guess you know your worth. Maybe they are determining their own worth um, from the amount of stuff that is around them. Not sure. So, that's good that we have a vassal over there. We really need to settle this island. Yeah, the join offer, uh, uh, whatever. Confirm army movement. Now, the good thing is. I don't have any problem embarking and disembarking anymore, so let's move over here. It's a bit odd that he can ride over the water, but I won't complain. Um, if you can, if you can move in a straight line, I'm gonna join these armies, and then we're gonna kick some dragon ass over here. You can move home. Go on. I very much would like to cast something, but uh, obviously I can't. Because <laughs> we're building this crown, that is what's taking up our mana. That's good. If I complete it now, people are going to be pissed. Could send this to Aeneas while he's near. And before we attack the dragons, yeah, let's do it. It's important. It is important. So let's end the turn. Our race governance leveled up. Very good. Warlord. Nope. 
Not gonna happen. Come on. Move home. Crown of Aeneas. Um, so let's send Aeneas as crown. It's gonna be two turns. That should be good. Race governance leveled up. What are we gonna get? Public baths give an additional 100 happiness in urban cities. We're gonna go with that, definitely. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, the phase ability is pretty good, but I generally tend not to use a lot of unicorn riders. Um, these higher ones are pretty crazy, especially this one. Support units ignore line of sight penalty, so that's also going to be a thing for our for our apprentices. That's going to be huge, but getting an increase in casting points? That is a lot. So, yeah. So we got that. Uh, we set the crown to Aeneas. I'll bring you up here. I mean, we might join them as well. Might as well. So, yeah, we, we did that. Um, join offer, join offer, join offer, join offer. I, I can't deal with them right now. We researched the sorcery, so we can channel more mana. More mana than we have, even. Let's go to sorcery 5. The more points we can channel, the easier our life is going to be. We are, we are sorcerer after all. What do we want to do here? I think I need to build uh, to finish these things, right? So let's go with Arena, Harbor, Cosmetic Spire, Warhol. Just, just to finish that. You can get home to the city. And we're moving you up here towards Rialto. That's shocking. Oh, that's some mana that I, that I seem to have missed. Or did I? Yeah, I did not go that in, the, in that direction. All right then. We still can't. Oh yeah, we could summon a spirit elemental or an old servant. I'd rather get another eldritch horror. I really do. I would need to summon another wisp or two just to get more scouts out. Would I be able? To some of them near my vessel cities is the question. I will. I will. Okay. So we're gonna do this. So because I I've always done a rather bad job at uh, scouting. These tier one units are actually there for scouting. I just I just need to know what is happening. Uh, I can't even take another wisp. And uh, just follow the road down here. There are more cities. I need to know where they are. All right then, I should do the same on the surface, but I, I don't have any more casting points to channel, so that's fine. Yeah, let's end this turn. Ubercal has a quest available. Is that, that that city? No, that is Botok. Another race governance upgrade. Oh, I didn't do it. Okay, should have done that. <laughs> this lot has committed unspeakable acts. It is against nature. And their debauchery before they corrupt the population at large. What are you going to give me for this? A goblin walk rider. Mm. I would like to do it. It's only it's only two bards. I might be able to finish them off with my dwarven firstborn alone. He's hurt, but. Yeah, well, maybe not. Maybe it's gonna. Maybe it's gonna die. No, we're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do their quest. You do it yourself. 
got an arena here. Necromancer, Melvin the traitor. No, no, I don't. I don't have time for you. Simple as that. Hmm. What, what is that party? Hunter Spider Queen. Tiger and Assassin. It is a rather strong group. Oh, I think we might be able to get it. But is it going to help me? I don't think so. I'm going to bring you guys down here. Yay! There's another city. A Tiger and City. Interesting. No, why not? Let's be friends. We're already getting an insane amount of money from our independent cities. Yeah, let me know when you're ready to talk. I would like you to be my vassal. And all these places I want to be, are, 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 are wanting to join our, our empire. Let's bring up the Eldritch Horror. And we're gonna go straight up here to catch our dragons. It's gonna be difficult, but I think we can do it. <clears throat> I hope. I really hope that that is what's going to happen. So let's summon another Eldritch Horror. Um, I'm gonna give that to real to the shocking, actually. Um, come down. And then we do have our wisps. So... Ah, yeah, okay. So you're, you're over here. We're just gonna follow the street. Okay, so we're gonna negotiate here. Yeah, open borders, why not? I'm a friend of the dwarves. So we're gonna, we're gonna move around you. Now oh, we just can't reach this thing. Oh well, it's fine. So let me know when you're ready to talk. And then we do have you. Let's see what lies in that direction. Just a tavern. It's it's really nice that um, these inns and taverns are always at the end of uh, end of these streets. They're always at the yeah at a place where you would expect an inn or a tavern. Because if you have any travelers, they probably want to want to rest at the road. And uh, where would the road lead otherwise, right? So. Um, I think if we can get that third of the map, we are in a pretty good position here. Pretty sure that the others are underground as well. Let's end this turn. Ah, crap. I'm gonna do this in auto combat. Oh, I should have I should have unchecked the um, new sorcery. Doesn't look like it did anything, but we never know. Um, and we're gonna gonna use that crown headpiece. So now he has Seeker. Ranged abilities ignore range penalties and line of sight penalties and do plus one damage. That is huge. It, it, it doesn't look like it because it just shows it as a common headgear item. But it's actually really huge. Because now he will always apply that um, shock damage to all the enemies. He can just stay back and, and do that. So that's that's really really good. Well, the dragons up there. We do have to get a move on here. How long is that quest going to be be available? Four turns. We'll just be able to make it, and then there's the question of can we win it or not. <laughs> Don't have any have any use for you. Hmm, you're offering a tribute, that's nice. We definitely want mana. We start for mana. We have a lot of gold because we don't have a lot of units here. Let's come down this way. Might there be another town down here? It's not impossible. Maybe. No. It's just a fire node and a mana node. That would be pretty valuable for us. Ooh, holy cow. There are wizard tower ruins. That's great. 
Unit summoned within the city domain gain an additional rank and are supercharged. When a supercharged unit dies in combat, it spawns a random lesser elemental until the end of combat. So this is gonna be our main um, summoning town. Just because of these wizard ruins, they're just great. Especially with our archangels, we're gonna be able to die and resurge and we're still gonna get the elementals. So that's great. Bring you over. How much do you need? Only oh, these two buildings. We're gonna have a couple of this war hall. We need to settle as well. I'm gonna pick that up. Why wouldn't I? Okay. Okay, very nice. How long is it gonna take you to become my vessel? Two turns. If I summon the Eldritch Horror now, I'm gonna profit from it later with Rialto the Shocking. I really wanna give him one and replace the Big Beetle. Can send the Big Beetle to one of our vessel cities. Good, very good. So summon Eldritch Horror is ready to cast. I'm gonna do that right away. Can't do it on the water. But I can, f I can fly down. Man, these are such cool units. I really do like them. <laughs> Gonna bring you over to real to the shocking. So we have the prismatic spire in here, building the war hall now. It's all good. We're getting a lot of money. Can all join. We're gonna do it at some point, but um, you're not gonna get any troops out of it if you if you take them. And that is that is a pretty big problem uh, because I I would have to defend them and build build troops there and any wild creature that uh, comes my way would be able to take the city just by just by moving in there. There are a couple of wild animals over there. Should take care of them, maybe. Maybe should take care of this thing as well. Move the dwarf in our elven city. Not sure if the dwarves and the elves are enemies in this fantasy world. Maybe they're friends. Also actually on the side of good. And the elves seem to be as well. Oh well. I mean, this is a pretty nice army. I just would like to have Ella the runaway run around the map more, but she can't really do that if she doesn't have an army. Oh crap. Well, I'm gonna bring you up. We will be able to get the haste berries in the next turn. And I think we're gonna get to the dragons. Down the dragons. Yeah, I think we can do that. Uh, in time. I'm gonna get two units at least. That would be enough to take at least this city. Just station them in there, then build more of them later. Just need a distraction. Frost Dragon. Oh. And then we do have you. Just gonna move you a bit. Oh. Their independence. What is this? Lost Library. And you're, you're on this thing? It's kind of odd. I guess they're moving towards my goblin city. Oh, yeah, I know, because here's their lair. So we really need Rialto the Shocking to, to secure the underground. These independent dragons are gonna be a very big problem for us. Can we cast a spell? Mm, we want one more Eldritch Horror at least to give it to Ella the Runaway. But I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you wanna see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss an episode. Um, in the next episode, I think we're gonna go up here, kick some dragon ass, hopefully, or get our own asses kicked. Depends on how many dragons are there. It, it was only a hard mission, not very hard. Maybe it's just one dragon, that would be, that would be good. 
If it is an army of six dragons, I, I just can't do it. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But uh, yeah, hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye bye.